produced on the film too? Oh well, NTR Arts. That's my brother's company. Kalyan Ram is mm-hmm. my brother. So his family, as yeah, is, as is like now her sister producing. <laughs> yeah, no, but like I'm curious, like whether you were sitting in on the edit process and all through it. Yes, through yes, we wow. we as a team were. In it and no, Sir I could tell when, when I was there, he was so passionately describing no, everything. No, no, like, you know, like the, I could tell that he's been part of every beat yeah. of the era. Like, it's now in his, Zahir. he's like, his puri tarah bas chuka hai. Like, you know, he's got <laughs> yes, there. Yes. No, but th- that director and actor collaboration is the most important association for the success of any feature any, film, any, any motion any movie. Film. It is really about how you True. can collaborate with the director. So, back to Vasan. Um, Great energy, great guy, such a good person. Like when I met him, I just fell in love with him. I was on the sets with Vasan Bala um, of a film that I've acted in called Bombay Velvet, mm-hmm. uh, which stars your husband and I was the antagonist of all things. Uh, we won't get into any of that, but that's the first time I met Vasan and just loved, loved everything that he's done right after that. And I just knew that the moment Alia would hear this film, she would she would sign this film. This is the film I knew she would do. And she is, of course, very discerning with her choices. But this is the one film I knew that, you know, you would just bite into. Uh, Vasan Bala, what is your, what is what we don't know about him and you? I think that we are very in sync. Yeah. Uh, and it started very much from the first, um, before we even started filming. I remember I was in New York and we were putting out the announcement of the film. And I was like, hey, do you want to do like an anime something? You know, like something to do with this like anime kind of vibe just to put a really cool visual. I don't know why I said that. And then he just sent me the work in progress unit and we were already on it. (laughs) Oh, wow. (laughs) That was just the beginning. After that, lots of things where it just happened where before the shot only I'm like, Vasan, I'm thinking body language. And he said, he knew what I was going to say, Mm, what I was going to do before I was going to do it. So I think that we're very much in sync. um, That I have a lot of um, uh, respect for his process but also a lot of fondness for his mind and I say use the word fondness is because I feel it's it's um, it's so open to different avenues it's never um, it's it's never sort of closed in he's so open but at the same time his instinct is so strong so it's yeah. not like if I come with every idea he's taking every idea he's like no she'll do this but she won't do this so the process was just it was very exciting. It was never just a one note day. It yeah. went through so many different notes. And even now, uh, going through the edit and the post and all of that, of course, he's doing all the heavy lifting. We are sitting and basically just kind of coming and giving thoughts and opinions yeah. whenever we have yeah. to do it. But I've always believed that this is a director's medium. It's a filmmaker's medium. And if the filmmaker is not has not given their heart, soul, everything, and if that voice is not communicating, then something always goes off with the film. Yeah. Yeah. And I really feel like this, even the teaser was cut by Vasan, the yeah. teaser trailer was cut by Vasan because I'm like Vasan, nobody else would be able to communicate yeah, yeah. what you have in your mind. So yeah, I, 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 like, I can go on and on talking about him. I no, really have a lot of love for Incredible. And I think yeah. we have two incredible filmmakers. And I also you know, have to credit his his wife, Prerna, yes, Prerna. who's She's also, also the editor, the editor on the, the film. film. Wow. So their combination is also just magical. Yeah. Wow. And I always wonder how that happens because, you know, like a husband, wife in an edit room, like, I I mean, if I was editing a film, even with a friend, I might have murdered that person. (laughs) But you tell me, sir, who, who, who takes over? Does, does, does a director take over the editor or the editor takes over the director? Because I'm a firm believer of something that films are definitely, yes, they're written, but they're made on the the editing. Agreed. See, but who takes over? See, 